painted it 235 and 236. Yes, yes. Wedding. I'm sweating too. I'm sweating. I'm nervous. Well, this, this is a big here. this is a big job opportunity for you. So I know. <laughs> Woo! I'm pretty stoked. Let's dive into the compensation. So how much are you paying us to join our team? Let's dive into that. Let's dive into that. Uh zero percent. And how much are you paying us? One hundred percent. Right? That's how it works. Oh, bro. Okay. I can't believe you used us to get this interview. Are you talking speed suits? What? <laughs> This is the Beer Mile podcast. Oh, wait, this is the Beer yeah. Mile podcast. Hi, Beer Mile yeah. podcast. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't get the memo about the outfit. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my. What? This is fantastic. Found it up. Nothing for you? Nick, it's 8 15 in the morning. I'm not an alcoholic. Well, we're interviewing you now. Come on! We're doing the interview now, not you. Because we're gonna we're gonna tear you apart. Feel free to tear us apart. That's a great board meeting. Mm. Mm. Very successful. Familia, squad, my boys and girls. What's up, Beer Mall Nation? Back with another episode. And we're dripped out in that business formal because we got a big one today. We're interviewing our first potential employees of Beer Mile Media. If you're listening to the audio only, sorry, you're missing out on two dudes in suits. It, it might be a good one to hop over to YouTube. Might be a good lie. one. Today on the podcast, we have an interview with Shayla Houlihan and Bailey Myers of Under Armour, of the Dark Sky Running Club. They're potentially going to join the Beer Mile Media squad and offer up some coaching services, organizing a beer mile running club, if y'all are into that, putting on events, putting on an adult summer camp. I mean, the, the possibilities are really endless at this point. Yeah, anything can happen when you have this much chaotic neutral energy. Exactly. So today we, it's a little different. We're interviewing them for a job. Uh, they're amongst many candidates. You know, we had a yeah. couple hundred applicants for the roles. We're gonna sift through those, but we, we especially thought this interview was pretty entertaining. So we're bringing you this interview uh, specifically out of all the candidates that we that we had. Uh, we did, in. yeah. Obviously, we recorded all of them. This is the cream of the crop. They yeah. are top of the line, and you know, we'll see in the interview if they get offers or not. Yeah, comment below as you're listening to this interview, uh, assuming you're on YouTube. Uh, comment below. Let us know. Did they do they deserve the job? Would you want them to coach you? Would you join a beer mile running club? Would you love to have an Under Armour beer mile singlet and shorts, a whole kit that you could be rocking at your next race? Comment below and we'll make it happen or we won't make it happen. Just depends on what the people want. Quick boop a doop before we get into that. Make sure you're giving us that review on Apple Podcasts. Still no one has been hitting us up with those reviews. And it's kind of sad, y'all. So hit us up. Don't say that. It's fucking depressing. I know it is depressing. <laughs> well, we want to give swag away. So we said that we'll sure. give swag away to anyone who gives us a five-star review on Apple Podcasts and comment something. You can literally just say, I love my mom and comment that, Please. screenshot it. Please say that. That would actually be hilarious. Screenshot it, send it to us on Instagram, DMs. You'll get something. Uh, we'll do giveaway every episode of the people that reviewed. So yeah, just it's very easy. Um, also, you know, subscribe on Beer Mile Media on YouTube, smash the like, get yourself a Garmin watch link in the description. Yeah, what else if, do we got? I mean, if I mean you, that's pretty much it. If you subscribe, then that's, I think that's casting a vote for us not to open up an OnlyFans because you gotta, you gotta make money somehow. Oh, don't say that because people want an OnlyFans. So if you I mean, say- if you, if you do want an OnlyFans, subscribe and comment. And if you don't want one, subscribe and just like don't, don't comment. comment. Yeah, that's fair, that's fair. Let's get right into it. Let's get into this interview. Super professional. Bruh. Very professional interview. Uh, everyone wore their business formal attire for this one. Uh, Shayla Houlihan, Bailey Myers, let's get into it. Mr. Huff, Mr. Giner is ready for your interview. Actually, we'll be interviewing as a team. We're here to fuck shit up. Whoa, <laughs> Candidate 235 and 236. Yes, yes. Um, what are these candidates' names? I don't remember. We've talked why. to so many people about this interview. I don't even know. Yeah, why don't you introduce yourselves? Uh, hi, guys. I'm Bailey Myers. Um, <laughs> are you? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm Sheila 
I don't even. What's your name? Uh, Shayla. I mean, I got nothing on a name. Come on, baby, what's the name? Online. We're back online. <laughs> We're back online. I forgot who I was for one second. Um, yeah, no, I'm Bailey. This is Shayla. What else? Do you Together. Just blank stare at me. <laughs> you can't just blank stare is, is at me. How well, is this how well your last interview went? Um, yeah, we didn't get the job. I don't know if you could tell. So we don't I mean, really... you, you don't even know what your names are? Like, I don't know. Uh, how about we start this interview again? What do you say we interview you? Uh, all right. Yes, that's a uh, sometimes useful exercise. Please put your hand in. Uh, okay. What are your names? Okay. I'm Adam. Mm. I'm Chris. Adam. Is that with a B? Adam. A B at the end? Pam. 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 With an M. D on the end. Adam. And a U for the second A. Nice. Okay. Okay. And but, yours? Uh, well, I'm the chief chug officer. Uh, so really, you can oh. just call me boss. But uh, I also go by go by Chris for those that are you know actually friends with me. But you call me boss. Oh, K Chris. Okay. Cool. Yeah. K Chris. With a K. Uh, with a K. With a K. I wish. I wish K- it were K dash Chris. That's pretty. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's, pretty cool. that's pretty close to what your wife calls you. Is it? No, I thought, well, that's, I mean, Karis is almost close to daddy. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> so, so all, all we care about at our company is the scoreboard. So let's just start off with, give us your PRs. Cause that's all that really matters. Give us some numbers. Wait, I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, my PRs, let's see. I can chug a beer in about Five minutes. <laughs> Not a good chugger. Not a good chugger. Shayla's way faster um, at chugging than I am. Way more talented in that arena. Mm, yeah, uh, I'm about a 30 second, 16 ouncer. Ooh. Ooh, okay. That's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, okay. let's see, we passed that. Write that down, write that down. Yeah, write that down. Um, no, but otherwise, <laughs> are we talking running PRs here? Uh, Whatever PRs you think are relevant to get the job. Okay, mm. well, then maybe running ain't that irrelevant here. Beer mile. I wonder, I actually never done a beer mile before. Mm. I'd like to give it a go. Um, Shayla, what's your beer mile PR? Uh, it's uh, over under 10 minutes. Over under 10 minutes? Wow, we're terrible. I've never we're, actually we done We never got either. this That's job. That's a lie. Huh? That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> this job is out the fucking window. <laughs> uh, do you guys care about um, cussing at your place of business oh, yeah we'll, we'll just have to bleep it all yeah yeah you know you you have you have to cuss like it's important to get your point across and cussing mm-hmm. is a big part of that so you. yeah you yes. it, it's actually a requirement um we'll yeah, probably yeah. have to bleep it out but it's a requirement mm. that sucks but i i respect your policy and uh we're a cussing household over here mm. um but otherwise prs include uh i ran the 800 meters in high school and college uh, I ran 202. What was your high school PR though? 210. Ooh, mm. That was pretty fucking fast for pretty a high nice. schooler. Yeah, it's pretty good. I ran that the other day in a pacing job. Yeah. I was like, go high school. Base. Basically practice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then um, uh, what else? I've run a 1500 uh, two years ago. I ran like 413 or something like that. Um, but now uh, Shayla's kind of like the steeple extraordinaire. So I'm um, training for the steeple chase this year. So I haven't run a 3k yet, but uh, I'm pretty excited about it. We're just going to throw her in, see how it goes. There we your go. Girl, you know, your girl can hurdle though. So I've got that down. What's your 400 hurdle PR from high school? Oh, Wait, God. did you run the, or is, is it 300? 300? Yeah. Uh, oh. Great question. Uh, <laughs> No idea. <laughs> Absolutely no idea. All right, what are your PRs? What you got over there? Uh, high school PRs. Yeah, you go with high school. Oh, this Start is great. School. This is fun. Um, high school, I ran the 1500 in 516. And uh, the one time I qualified for the state meet Slug. in the 3200, <laughs> I ran uh, 1118. So pretty wow. awesome. Wow. Awesome. Successful. We'll just, huh? we'll, just uh, we'll just leave that there. <laughs> so, so does 210 in high school beat Shelby or not? I don't think that beat Shelby. No. Yeah. 207.35 was her PR in high school. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's so fast. 
Pretty sure I was there for that race watching too, actually. <laughs> really? <laughs> Yeah, I grew up in Iowa, so. Oh, yep. look at this one over here, here. A little Iowa native. Exactly. For you. Yep, we're a lot tougher in Iowa than most others. Exactly. So yep. Beg to differ, well, but those are, right. okay. Those are some. Those are some good PRs. I'm glad you touched on. We're gonna have to work on the the chugging, the chugging though. Back. That's a little. Uh, I, I don't know. know. I just. I haven't practiced chugging that much, honestly. I, don't I need know. to. I'll work on what it. My research says so. <sighs> I have room to grow. <laughs> in this department <laughs> <laughs> so so when when will be the first beer mile it's a good question um i'd like to do it uh around july or august of this year i think i will be uh equipped um at that time in my life to really give it a go i'd really like to compete against shayla mm. i think she might get me in the chugging but i might have a little bit faster of a mm. run so I think we might be a perfect mm. pair to go against each other. Oh, it's on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think you might not even be close if uh, if it's a thirty second chug versus a five minute chug. I think you'll still be yeah. Like yeah. One. Well, you know, that was an exaggeration. I do believe it down. Um, it'll be the holding it down that'll be the toughest part for me. Mm -hmm. okay. But uh, I'm gonna work on it. How would you train? So most of our fans probably high school boys. How would you train high school boys? What what sorts of workouts would you be giving them? Go on, Jayla. Oh, for the uh, training the beer mile? For high schoolers? For high schoolers? That seems inappropriate, guys. <laughs> no wonder we're not fucking sponsored. <laughs> Are you condoning underage <laughs> drinking? Does, does that have to be for the beer mile? We have we have yeah. run of all skill abilities and legal drinking ages, and, or so yeah, not. Yes, of all ages. So what yeah, how would how would you train a uh, high school boy to, I don't know, run sub two or a high school girl. I, I think we maybe have some, some female following as well. How would you train them to beat your two ten time? Yeah. Go on. No, your turn. I have never ran two ten. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did coach high school for the last four years when I was living in Seattle. Um, and I will say you get an, a whole array of people when you're coaching high school, you know, you get anyone that is just coming out for a PE credit or you get people that, you know, are actually pretty talented and pretty good. Um, and so I started all of my kids out by just walk running. Um, that's a big step for high schoolers walk run. Um, but overall, I mean, high school is a crazy one. I think I was able to do run 210 because um, I was one chasing after boys quite a bit. So that's important. Always give them something <laughs> to shoot for, mm -hmm. you know, give them something off in the distance. Like um, the cute ones or? Yeah. Well, you're still, I mean, you're kind of still doing that now, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also had a policy that um, if you threw up in a workout, I'd buy you a milkshake. So that's a big one as well. Every workout. Yeah, I oh, really can't wait to get lots of milkshakes. So if you ran hard enough, you know, but it had to be like a real hard throw up. It couldn't be like, I ate too much. Now I'm throwing up, it had to be official. Um, so giving them uh, lots of things to shoot for uh, is important. What kind of workouts uh, made people puke? Or do you, do you remember a workout that? Oh, well, I had a lot of workouts when I was throwing up because I was eating a lot of Hot Pockets. <laughs> I was eating so many Hot Pockets. I didn't really realize what was going on, um, but I was eating a lot of them. I really loved pepperoni Hot Pockets and I would pop one of those right before practice all the time. So I was throwing up quite a bit on accident Jesus and then I started to figure that out. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty gross. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I would suggest not eating like an hour. Now I understand that you're not supposed to eat like an hour That's before you run. That's a leap. Are you still eating hot pockets? I am hundred percent still eating hot pockets. Yeah. <laughs> but noodles, so. how can you not? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I think high school is an awesome time to kind of like learn how hard you can push yourself. I mean, like it's a, I've loved coaching high school because they just like, go for it. Like there's just no fear. And I just so appreciate that. Like if you can pump up a high school kid, they will run through an effing wall. I'm mm -hmm. always so impressed with them. So it's actually not that hard to train high schoolers. The older you get, the smarter you get. Yeah. I was going to say like yeah. your brains aren't developed. Like I think I was yeah. stupid in high school and that's why I ran fast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't set limits on yourself. It's yeah. a good thing. It's true. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to be probably hung over tomorrow. What's my workout? my Friday workout for tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow we have a hill workout oh, for you. Uh-oh. I never yeah. measured it. Oh, 
How, how long of a hill are you telling him to do? Because we don't really have hills in No, Chicago. we got the one by the track. Is that long enough? What's How long is the hill rep? 20 seconds? Yeah, I'm hoping I would like you to go 20 seconds, but then okay. also You're like good. a 30-second hill. And I want you to go an easy hill, a medium hill, and a hard hill. So you're going to do three of those. It's a set. And you're going to go times three, three to five, depending on how tired you get. But it's going to be a 20 second, hopefully a 30 second and a 40 second hill varying in like 20 seconds should be pretty hard. 30 seconds should be hard, like not as hard as the 20 seconds and then the 40. Yeah. So you're going to go hard, medium, hard, tempo ish on the long one. But I don't really know. You need to like bring my entire notepad. So yeah. Like, yeah, you might want to like write it down on like your on your arm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's always a good move. So this sounds contradictory to what you just said though. So you said like the goal should be to run to puke every time. So why don't you tell them to go all out every single rep? Like that's what you should say. 20 reps all out every single time. I mean, I did puke Monday on my easy run. So But that's because oh. you don't know how to eat properly. That's yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> well, we're gonna get to that. We have to build him to that level. Okay. Right. He's okay. just starting out, he's on like week two of trying to beat Sinclair. So we've got to, you know, hold it down and then start to build. Fair enough. And then we'll get to the throw up workouts. We'll get to them. We'll film it. It'll be I'm fun. excited to see the throw up workouts. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be good. All right, step, let's step up then to, to to you, Shayla, the college kids. Then, yeah, What's the difference there in the mentality and how how you train someone. So, in the ki- you just got to keep the high school kids excited, push them hard once in a while, incentivize them. Then, what is yeah. it in college? What's the difference? Well, I you know I coached at Cal, so it was also another like breed of athlete. You know, they're very cerebral and they're overthinking a lot of a lot of uh, what they're doing. But I think uh, the the switch from high school to college is just this teaching them that you after freshman year become a sophomore and you're a totally different person and Mm -hmm. you get to develop into this great, wonderful body and you have way more knowledge Mm -hmm. and you just have such a learning curve that freshman year, which is helpful. Just making sure they stay motivated and, um, because they have so many other things outside of, um, of just running, mm-hmm. especially right. at Cal. So they were running and they were doing school to the nth degree and they had a social life too. So just kind of balancing that, figuring out how to balance everything, I think is kind of the biggest thing from high school. And also honestly, keeping that excitement is like a big part of it too. And like, you no, know, letting them know that you care a crap ton because they're going through a lot of transitions and changes in life. So Bailey was talking up your ability to recruit people, even though you didn't have like a thousand scholarships, like most other schools. Yeah, like, no, it's true. Like to the casinos and strip clubs. Like <laughs> No, no violations. Come on. No, <laughs> no. that's an NCAA violation. <laughs> I would never. <laughs> no, I think like just finding the right fit um, in California, it was a much easier because you have just a ton of talent mm-hmm. in that pool. And uh, yeah, just finding like those quirky kids that and like Cal was such an easy sell because it's such a you know number one public school in the world. So, um, it was a little bit easier without scholarship money to get like a higher caliber of athlete. Um, but really like for me, recruiting is like about finding that person that's going to really jive with me. And Mm -hmm. I like all sorts of different personalities. So that's always what I went for. And, and then like the art of coaching is like, finding a way to make all of them tick together Mm -hmm. and like really finding respect in each other, I think is really cool and really fun. Um, Like, Hey, you have this strength. And then this other person has this other strength and somehow we have to come together and be a team and Mm -hmm. kick some butt. So yeah, I loved recruiting and recruiting like just different little weirdos. <laughs> Are you saying I, I'm a weirdo? I still do it. I still do it. <laughs> Even though I am a recruiter, but yeah, you inherited me. Yeah. It's just so much better. <laughs> like I can't get rid of her. I don't know. <laughs> I like, I moved in. I'm like <laughs> always around. <laughs> She's never getting rid of me. <laughs> that's, a, that's a deep, deep relationship with the coach for sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we have so many layers. Yeah. It's that's awesome right. though. So how, how is the pro recruiting then? How, I mean, I'm sure that that's 
significantly different. You're not recruiting as many people as well. as right. you, you have exactly. some, some money to play with too. So there's a couple different aspects of it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, the way dark sky is, um, structured right now is we have these ambassador roles. So, which are awesome, um, with those amb- ambassadors. So that's like the beginning level, um, with the ambassador roles, they get me and Stephen Hass is coaching for free. You get massage and physio for free, chiropractic for free. You get a travel stipend. You get all the gear that you need for free. Um, am I missing anything? I think that's everything. Yeah. yeah. And then, and then if you are part of the group, you get all of that as well, mm-hmm. but then, you know, maybe Under Armour sees a great fit for you. So they give you some money or whatever. Um, like yeah, just different it, levels. Right? Yeah. Like mm-hmm. depending on where you're at and, and what our needs are as a team, then, um, we kind of go after those people. And then it's just kind of figuring out, Honestly, the athletes that are at that like next level are some of the kindest, most humble people you'll meet in your entire life. Mm -hmm. Um, And that was kind of what I learned coaching at Cal and coaching at that college level is like, man, some of the best athletes out there are just some of the best people and the best humans you've ever met. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, that's that's just kind of having those conversations and seeing what Under Armour's needs are. You know, they really like to invest into the person and, hey, how can we make this athlete better mm-hmm. overall? Like not just athletically, but just as a person. And how can we help, you know, their brand become even bigger and better? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so how much does the brand side play into it now? Like social media, like an athlete, not just running like you one extreme I would say is like Galen Rupp where he's like the best at running but doesn't do anything besides run is that yeah. is that not really something that brands are looking for as much and they're more focused on like even if you are I guess a, another example would be like someone like Spencer Brown who wouldn't quite be at the pro level probably you know 10 years ago but because he has such a big following he's valuable as a marketing tool for the company so I'm, yeah. I'm curious how Under Armour looks at that I think it's a piece of it for sure. Um, but, um, you could even like use Wayne as an example. Like I, I don't think her social media was, you know, through the roof or anything. I would have to look at it. I, I think she probably, I think she was even private and all that stuff. And so for them, it was like, she just fit well, well for, for us, she fit what we were looking for. Mm-hmm. And, um, she f- just her, vibrancy for life and what she's doing and running and everything like she just puts a smile on her face you know you think about her you think about her story and you're like super inspired you know she has an amazing story like yeah she's she's really an incredible person that's kind of what Under Armour like they like the story they they like like that let's let's tell it let's help her tell it you know and and let's watch her run freaking fast run sub 15 for the first time this past weekend like Mm -hmm. let's pump her up let her do that too so they're not like down your throat about it but like yeah there are some other athletes that have a great following and that might be something that they're excited about as well and then hey they ultimately become this great athlete as well so it's icing on the cake I do think that there is like now, I mean, when we were younger, there wasn't this pressure of like having a social media following, right? Like you didn't have to post, you didn't have to do these things. You could just be that. But now we're coming into a new era of being a marketing tool, being an athlete that you do need to somewhat have that and being able to articulate your story through that medium is really important. Um, So yeah, I think it, it can be like, I mean, I've run for now like two companies and I will say like other companies, there's an importance of being like, you need to post this many times. You need to have this storyline. I will say Under Armour has been a lot, given us so much freedom to tell our own story, mm-hmm. but then they will highlight us in a beautiful way that I don't find is happening at a lot of other places. So um, it has been, it, it's an interesting way. Well, our roommate just got home. <laughs> You're good. Molly! <laughs> hey. What up? We're just doing something out here. <laughs> oh, unprofessional, Molly. Oh, come in. Do you want to hang out in the ring light? What We're doing this? a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> you want a beer? You can come say hi. Yes. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> like you guys outfits? are all like, oh, <laughs> 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 Look at her freaking 
<laughs> oh yeah, the speed suits. Oh you got them on. God, this is so. Can I just take a photo? Yeah, take a photo. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I'm sorry, I'm interrupting the podcast. But... You are just fine. <laughs> this is incredible. Thank you very much. This, this is the Beer Mile podcast. Oh wait, this is the Beer yeah. Mile. Hi, Hi Beer Mile podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't get the memo about the outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I actually might go grab a beer from Yeah, the get yeah, go for it. Oh yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's Molly. Is that a coach prescription to make sure that you have your daily beer quota or what, what does that look like? Uh, not necessarily, <laughs> not always. But, you know, everything's, it's about balance in life. So, you know, yeah. <laughs> you need it, you need it. Speaking of interview questions, mm-hmm. what is your least favorite question you've been asked either in a job interview or in like a podcast? I always get the questions because I've always ran and worked. So I've like, you know, held pretty steady jobs as well as, you know, pursued Olympic dreams. Um, And always the question is like, how are you going to balance it? And that drives me crazy because, you know, we've grown up to be, you know, like, student athletes like it always has been that right so you like high school you balance it college you balancing so much you're balancing athletics you're balancing like trying to keep your scholarship you're trying to balance the social life like you're doing all these things and you're doing a really good job hopefully at least you kind of get it after a while (laughs) for me it wasn't it took me a little while but I figured it out and so then you know you get into like this professional world and I've been asked that recently of like how do I balance it and it's like well I can I'm good at this. Like I can balance a lot of things. I'm like more productive when I have things on my plate. I'm not just an athlete, but I also have a brain and I can, you know, work and do a good job at it. So I always, that drives me nuts when people ask that about being able to balance it, because I think that we all have different capabilities when it comes to that. So just having like a one dimensional, just an athlete, it's like people are more than just that. So uh, that one drives me crazy. Yeah, I, so I'm trying to look up because I, I made notes of the, uh, one of, I don't know, well, it would have been before I took this job at Under Armour. I was doing a bunch of interviews that summer. Mm-hmm. And gosh, there was this one interview I did. <laughs> it was just so awful. I took notes and I wanted to actually be able to tell you exactly what the questions were, <laughs> um, but I can't find it on my phone right now. But they were basically like these loaded questions and I'm on this this phone call with like two alumni, the athletic director, um, a couple of coaches that are currently still on the staff there. And um, like it, 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 these loaded questions, it'd be like three questions in one. And then it felt like when I would ask, oh, sorry, what was the second part of that question? Or what was that third part? Like I, I handled myself fairly well, but then I was just like, is up with these run-on questions questions. like why don't you just ask me three separate questions like it was just it was like they were challenging me to see if I could remember all three parts of the question and like and they were all three very different questions it was frustrating I'll contact them it was frustrating I'll fight them (laughs) I think my memory is like too short for questions like that like I get yeah. through, like if it's just a one-liner, I get halfway through answering it. I'm like, what was it? Sorry, what was, I was rambling. <laughs> I do that all the time. <laughs> oh my gosh, I know. Every single question was that way. I was just like, what? What just happened? So that's why I made sure to write all of them down afterwards. Cause I was just like, that was, that was a, a mind fuck. <laughs> like, I, do the, I do the same thing. I'm like, I am going to make it a point to like never ask these questions when yeah. I'm interviewing people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's good. Well, but I, I think there's like a direct correlation between how well you memorize questions and how well you coach. So I think they're probably that's what they're testing. Is, <laughs> you know, like, can, can they remember this three part? Right. Because otherwise they're yeah. not capable. Of then they can't remember the workout. Yeah, then they can't yeah, yeah. The workout. That's yeah. why she has to write the workouts on her wrist. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> And and to the and to your bad question, Bailey. I mean, I think. Hi, Molly. Sorry, <laughs> Molly. Hi. <laughs> Enjoy your beer in your room, <laughs> little weirdo. <laughs> to your bad question, uh, balancing. I mean, don't you think? Like, what if you just ran all day instead of having a job or school or something? I mean, then you would be like gold medalist for sure, right? Wait, don't talk her back. Not here. necessarily. Hold on one second. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, <laughs> that's a great question. That's probably um, why you drink beers in a half hour is because you're doing yeah. like this. I just do a little sip, sip. Um, 
I don't think, I mean, I think every athlete's very different, right? Like I know people who can just run and mm-hmm. they can be very dedicated to their sport and they can play video games all day. <laughs> who are you describing? <laughs> Shelby. Oh, you know, some people. <laughs> There's some people that can just, you know, eat junk food and play video games. Uh, Shelby. Shelby. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> no, um, but on all seriousness, I have too much anxiety just to focus like just directly on running and I need to keep my brain occupied. Um, and I think there's a lot of people like that. Like, I think a lot of, often it's a lot of women, especially in the yeah. pro world will like Molly Seidel's getting her MBA, right? Like she's like oh, yeah. getting her master's in, in business and like, she's going to be in the Olympics. I mean, she, she can focus <laughs> yeah. on it and like do that. And that makes sense to her. And I think it's a hard, like, it's a hard road figuring out like what you can balance. I think when I first became pro, I was really heart set on like being so excited just to run and not have to focus on school or anything like that. And I found myself just being so like cerebral about the running that like I ended up just with a lot of anxiety and We're a lot still working of worry. On that. <laughs> That's why I'm sweating so much. Um, <laughs> but uh, I think the hard part was like taking my brain out of it. And so I need something to like keep myself occupied in order to run my best. And I think there's a lot of people like that. And there's a lot of people that can just hang out and focus That's on running when they do it. it. And like it, you know, so. I was the same way as her. So I like, I think that's why we work so well together. Cause I mm-hmm. totally understand that I had to be doing a million different things while I was running professionally. So mm-hmm. yeah, I get it. Yeah. I could never be like the other weirdos that just sit there and game all day and eat. <laughs> and Potentially related weirdos. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. She's amazing. No, no, she's, yeah. <laughs> No, it's okay. like, I, I wish I could have been that way. Yeah. You know, like there's, that's an art too. It's awesome. It's like, man. Yeah. But. Are you saying like, so cere- cerebral, are you saying that you're like too smart for just running? Yeah. I'm just a yes. freaking genius. No, <laughs> she's yeah, really yeah. incredibly, it's true though. She is. She like, she could have gone to Cal. Like she went to UW, another great school. Like is, she's one of those people that like is very, very smart. And compliments. <laughs> Nice. And she, not that she's questioning the workouts or anything, but she's questioning what's happening inside of her body constantly. Mm-hmm. Cause she knows, like, she's like, there's been, well, like last summer, she's like, uh, my foot's broken. And I was like, what? I, was like, I know it. I'm like, what, <laughs> what are you talking about? And like, every time she said something hurts a certain way, she's been right. You know, then we go mm-hmm. to the doctor or we go to the physio, we talk through it and stuff. And mm-hmm. so She's very intelligent, trying to take it out of her a little bit. That's the hard part, removing that. And that's the beauty of being a high school runner. A lot of times is that you just can run through a wall and, you know, you don't question it. And I think, you know, a lot of times I Mm -hmm. question a lot of things. And so being able to like relax the mind enough to just be willing in order to like willing to accept the workout, willing to do all Mm -hmm. these things has been the greatest challenge for me. And Questioning I, the pain, I guess. Yes. That's probably what she's doing the most. A willingness to like accept the pain, yeah. a willingness to do that. Whereas I've been like, alert, alert. This is way too hard. <laughs> <laughs> Slow the fuck down. <laughs> <laughs> caution, <working> caution. <laughs> Fears so, help. <laughs> so, so talking about keeping your mind occupied then, I think mm-hmm. we have to address, why did you yell at us in the middle of your race? at the Texas qualifier. True. I mean, is I that is that part of your strategy of like- Wait, yeah, does Shayla know this story? Wait, what? I don't even know it. I don't even remember what? this very much. <laughs> That's Can you explain bullshit. this situation to me? Because I feel like I may have chirped at you a little bit, but not, I don't think it was necessarily me. <laughs> what? Uh, I, <laughs> it, was, it was definitely you. We're going live with what? it right now. It was definitely you. If you were All listening right. to the podcast, you'd know it was the last, or two episodes ago. Oh, I just wa- I listened to the latest one. That one where you uh, uh the Corey McGee stuff was oh my very gosh. funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was so funny. Also, I got dibs on coaching Joe Bossard in a uh, beer oh, mile. Okay. I called dibs. Okay. Oh, that you would have be it. fantastic. You have it. I'm in. I was I was worried that I would have to issue like a public a- apology, and I was like, ah, it's for charity. Like, mm. yeah. Did <laughs> you did did they contact you at all? Like, was there any? No. I, I, I sent her a response. I was like, hey, if like you're actually upset, DM me on Instagram because I don't want to pay money to talk to you on Cameo. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> oh my god, that is so good. That was very, very clever. Yeah, that, very, was, very that clever. was pretty good. So, so yes, yeah, so if you speaking if, of clever, yeah, if you have well, if you have an in with Joe Bossard and you actually think you can get him to do a beer mile, our offer stands. We're putting up money if he can break five, and if okay. you can help coach him to that, yeah. you can split the profits with him. As a I'll, I'll see what I can do. Yeah. I think that'd be hilarious. <laughs> that would that would be really good. So you can't skate around it, Bailey. So why ah! why, why did you lie or why did you uh, you're like Oprah in this? I, don't, like, I like, know. Yeah. What did she I don't even know what I did necessarily? So, so go ahead so, and tell me what happened. Yeah. The setting was the Texas qualifier. Bailey's doing some pacing duties. It's six hundred meters into the No, she was racing. Day. That was me racing. I think I was racing. I okay, don't think I was then. This may not have been me, guys. I think you may have oh, your stories wrong. Adam wow. said it was you. I trust Adam. Why did you respond to my Instagram? <laughs> he was like, did you chirp at me? And I was like, could have been. I have no idea. <laughs> okay. So now, now either you're you're denying it. I'm upset. Or, or we He's actually embarrassed. I can tell. the wrong person. I, I don't know. I think you may have had the wrong person, but I was claiming to be it because it sounded funny. Well, Wait, can, what happened? We can, so 600 okay. meters into the 5K, I guess, yeah, don't necessarily know it's the pacer. Oh, it's a 5K? So she definitely wasn't in that. There are two pacers. Okay. Are they, are she, they, you said she was in the 5K. She fucking uh, responded to my <laughs> Oh, my God. So, so now you're a liar. Oh. Yeah, oh. 100%. Okay. I can't believe you used <laughs> us to get this interview. Well, we, okay, we Rocky need to figure out. <laughs> All right, Shayla's in the dark right now. So, yeah, she has no idea what you're talking about. So for the, I think it was for the developmental 5K at mm, the, Aust yeah. the Austin meet. Yeah. There are two pacers. The second pacer, who either looks a lot like Bailey or is Bailey, mm. looked at Chris, okay. and I, Chris and my dumb asses in our overalls. Well, because I was talking to you guys before my race when you guys were in your overalls. So that's what I thought you were talking 1500. about. 1500. Oh yeah, okay. no, not before. Yeah, this Wait, was this really? was literally in the middle of the race. Some, <sighs> someone yells at us. You guys are hot in the middle nice. of the race. Oh, but like, and we were like looking around, like this cannot be us. Like this is absolutely <laughs> not us. But there was nobody else on the infield. <laughs> First of all, I, we've spoken in person. I think that's a lie. Me? Yeah, you're talking to the overall guys at Texas. Yes. Why do I not remember this? <laughs> See, I were you drinking too many Trulies? Yeah. No, I was drinking butt heavy, but 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 <laughs> heavy. That's a, that's a separate issue. <laughs> wow, I I put all my trust in Adam that he knew that it was you. Wow, oh, Adam. I didn't do any of my own research. So embarrassing for you guys, not for no, me. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I might, might have a turntable. Actually, well, actually, it's exciting for us because now we can. Keep now you can the find going. that person. We can, we can find the other person now. Yeah. We keep the hunt going. So we tricked you. I tricked you, basically. You what an opportunity to get a job interview. Man. I'm thrifty. You got to do what you got to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It was like Adam, like we were like message. He asked me if it was me. I'm like, probably sounds like something I would do because it does sound exactly like something I would do. And then we just concluded. I was like, well, you got any jobs for me? <laughs> yeah. I don't know how we transitioned into Bailey job hunting. For, like, yeah. With somebody who it went from like immediate from like, oh, yeah, that was probably me to like, so you got any uh, work? <laughs> <laughs> so I, weird. I have work. Okay, so the first oh, yeah. now the first job responsibility of this job is to find the person who yelled yes. at us yeah. on laptop oh, on Texas Five. Easy. Yeah. I'll find her. Okay. She's probably just like me. <laughs> I'll get her. <laughs> healers. Okay. So we should probably get her on the podcast. Is what I'm thinking. Oh yeah. Huh. That's a redemption episode. Okay. Yes. I get that. Redemption. A redemption episode. I'm in. I'm invested. Oh, me too. Man. And your your second job like now officially is coaching me to beat Sinclair. Which I am. Are you scared about that? I'm scared for him for sure. <laughs> yeah. I will say. He, she's he actually scary. He has a lot of raw he's speed. He's so scary. She's so <laughs> scary. But yeah. She's really, yeah. I don't know. If you're going to pick a fight with a, like a speed, oh, a, I think a speed I think, person, she's like probably not the person. To I, pick think a fight she, with. I think no. she hurt me yeah. in the bar fight, but I think oh. I can take her. Hondo P. If this was a bar fight, she's got you one hundred percent. Yeah, I would be bleeding out after two minutes. <laughs> she's incredibly fast. She's scary, man. How, she's incredibly okay. feisty. As as insiders in the sport, then how fast do you think she can run a four hundred meter in? Because we couldn't figure out. We were trying to predict like how fast do you think she could run a four hundred? 
She could run 53 low. Yeah. Okay, we, uh, yeah. We were, come on. I can yeah. do 53 low. Come on. I don't know about right now. Not right now, uh, but like, come on. Hey, yeah. we'll get them there. We'll get them there. Okay. We'll get them there. Yeah. Wait, are they? We don't have to like drug test after this. Why don't I just use some fucking. <laughs> if you're really oh my God. dollars to win a 400 meter against. I mean, Sinclair. as your coach, I say, let's go for it. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Win at all costs. You're right. <laughs> So oh. we're trying to figure out the bet, and on the podcast, I said it was like $100, and Sinclair texted me afterwards, and she's like, no, I just want something that is going to, like, embarrass you. Oh. But I don't oh. know what I'm going to offer up. Like, I don't know what I want on her Ooh. side. So looking That's for- good. Oh, yeah. What, what, should we, what should we ask of, like, if Sinclair does mm-hmm. lose, what would be something that's not, like, mean or just too much, but it would still, she would still feel it a little bit. Something to bet. I have one for me. Yeah. What well, about what's, your, uh, what's yours? Yeah. Well, How's you know, yours? yours? Okay. So when we like probably five days after we interviewed Sinclair and Nessa, like however many episodes ago that was, a fan sent us this cosplay of Nessa doing like I think it was Cinderella or something like that. She did. She oh. had a modeling a modeling thing where she dressed up as Cinderella for one of her. Yeah. Oh. And, my thing would be, well, if you want to embarrass the fuck out of me, I will get like fully dragged up and cosplay Cinderella Ooh. and get professional photos taken. Yes. That would be pretty funny. so pretty. I think. Oh my God. I love drag. You should have to do a drag great. show. Oh, you should have yes. to get oh, up yes. on stage yes, yes. and do like the full Cinderella song. Yes. Ooh. Do I have to sing or is it just like strutting? You can, you can uh, uh, carry yeah, out. Or what just is it? do lip sync. Lip sync. Yeah. You can, okay. yeah, you can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll well, get what's, your drag what's, Cinderella. What's the Sinclair like equivalent of that? That's kind of fucked up, right? I yeah, I like that a lot. She, I really enjoy that. It's such a she has no shame. She's, she has no shame, and she's so confident in every aspect of her life, <sighs> from what I can tell. Yeah, from what I can yeah. tell. I'm trying to think about what would be embarrassing. Maybe you guys. I mean, she could do a drag show, but go male and have to sing something. Whoa. Maybe maybe oh, karaoke. Maybe, maybe singing. Yeah, karaoke. I don't know. I don't Is she know a how, singer? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know that's that a good one. one. I'm gonna figure out her weakness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna call her. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna shoot her a I wonder. text. Yeah, no. I, I'm gonna I'll figure that out. That that's do you have any ideas of like what you would want? I mean, you, I think you would be a good judge because it's like we want to push the line, but obviously not go too far. And we don't know what to yeah. would be with her. So, I mean, you'd, you would, you'd be better at getting towards that edge than we would be. So. Yeah. I don't think there is a too far for her. I Yeah, <laughs> I don't think so either. <laughs> I do like the idea of like so like social media shame, though. It's like you, yeah. you're going to be up on Instagram looking ridiculous or she yeah. is. I think that's funny. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll figure <laughs> out something for her. My, yeah. I'm gonna disown me if I lose. Well, then just don't lose. You just got to train. <laughs> yeah, true. How fast do you think you can run a 400? Right now. I mean, yeah, in like, like general. Ever, or like ever. Yeah, both. Right now, now and right now, maybe like a 55, 56. Wow. Yeah. Like I mean, yourself, huh? He, he can still run like a 26, 200, and like pegs, like Nike peg shoes, just any time of day, any, wherever. So, so he's got, he's got enough speed to do it, but he needs I, to work on the speed endurance. Quite I, uh, a bit. <laughs> I broke, I broke 30 after we did the t-shirt challenge and I puked. That's, that's true. That's true. <laughs> and I puked. <laughs> <laughs> See, that one was, des- well, actually, I don't know if that one was deserving of puke. That's question. Nah, nah. That was only like eight miles. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I think you should have a, I think this should actually be a series because since mm-hmm. you're a male, like you have more speed. Well, you, I don't oh, think you do have embrace more speed. debate. I your ceiling. Embrace if, <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Hey, whoa! <laughs> point, point, hey. Being, point being, if, she, if she's going to go down to 200, which you would arguably be like, yeah, a higher ceiling, in you should also have to go up to 800. So I think it's a series. You race her. In oh, two, I love this. You race you're her right. two, four, eight. Two four eight best of four eight. Oh, that's a good oh, one. I yeah. like that. So like I so love that. Like, okay, you can maybe. Oh, I don't even. See, I don't know if you can beat her in a two hundred because I still think she could run like. Tw- she might be like in the twenty fives. Yeah. If, if I yeah. had spikes, oh, no. I could run at twenty four. Okay, well, so you beat her there, but then she could take the eight hundred. So then it still, I guess, it still comes down to the four hundred. <laughs> <I know. Yeah. laughs> I, I think so really, we could get rid of those and just run a four hundred. Running an eight hundred with her, like, because I 
have never trained for the 800 seriously, but I've always wanted to be like, like I've always felt like at my peak shape, I could have bra- broken two. So she's mm-hmm. like, you'd be right with, she's there. Right there. It'd be right That'd there. be fun. There'd be some strategy too in the race. Like uh, who would, who would take the lead off the gun? And would it be a sit? Yeah. Would you, really. would there be pacers? We could get, get crazy to pace us. Oh yeah, yeah. that's true. Mm. We, yeah. I think, yeah, if, if Adam is in bad shape, I think I'll go in as a pacer at right at two flat because then I'll just pull Sinclair to a two flat and Adam yeah. will die and then it'll be <laughs> I really like that. That's good. Hey, I, I told Sinclair, I was like, I am straight up going to put like writing on my bathroom mirror and like – yes. Maybe now I'm gonna like Photoshop myself into drag so that I have to look at that every night. Ooh, yeah, that's I good. That visual practice. representation of goals is really important. So yeah, whatever, I say yeah. Whatever motivation. Coach, coach says so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's. So we're we're talking about coaching now. Let's talk about then. So our our whatever you call this beer mile media thing, we're doing beer mile podcast, whatever. So we want to make like a running club out of this. Like tell what? How do we do this? I, I mean, we, you, you would be great, great coaches. Uh, Bailey would yes. be a great coach. The best. Obviously, allegedly. Well, allegedly. I think I think there's proven. We'll see. We'll see. I'll see. Some the, uh, Sinclair. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, true. <laughs> that's really that's the real job interview. But that might be my interview. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's yeah. That's your. Interview. If I don't beat Sinclair, You're I'm out, off. and these two are in. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. We're exactly. kicking him out of this podcast, exactly. and then we'll start to Ann Hilbert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So <laughs> let's think big. Like, what are what should we do with this? whatever beer mile running team, whatever this is that we got going on. Well, we've been thinking about it because we think that you guys have a great avenue for possible coaching in that way. And we were starting, we were starting to look at, we're like, God, how amazing would it be to be, to like get people in to go couch to beer mile. Yeah. Right. So that's like the a, first program, so the first program that we would write would be a couch to beer. Right. Uh-huh. And so yeah. we talked a lot about that and how we would, it would really hook them. It would hook them. Right. Like mm-hmm. it would get people. So, yep. you know, you have a lot of people that might be, you know, a beer, beer miles might be popping up all, all across the country and you can get someone, you know, that's a hobby jogger to then run a beer mile and what they want to do. But then we could also hook them with then being like, all right, what's the next goal, right? So the next yeah. goal would be like, all right, you got a beer mile, but what's I like, actually like running. Yeah, mm-hmm. hmm, I like running. And the way that you guys are putting out this running, it seems to be something I enjoy and I love because, you know, once you start getting fit, you do love it. Oh, yeah. Um, and then, you know, we talked about, you know, a 5K plan and then a 10K plan or a half marathon plan and a marathon Let's go big. plan. So you start getting these people that, you know, maybe never thought about training, um, that come to your site and enjoy the beer mile, like, you know, the whole vibe to it. Cause it does have its own vibe in such a like casual, but cool way. Um, and so we've been thinking a lot about that and how that would be a really great avenue to like start with people. Yeah. You guys and then also good idea. What's that? I said, you guys are bringing the heat. That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Well, and then also I think another key component, you know, once we're through this pandemic thing, I think we're basically through it. So (laughs) (laughs) jinx, like we talked last (laughs) year. We're basically through this thing. thing. (laughs) So I think that, you know what? We're basically through this thing. (laughs) The entire team is vaccinated now. So we're like basically through this. We're basically through this thing. Oh, Um, (laughs) y'all. Uh, anyway, <laughs> no, but, uh, you know, like, uh, I think having, uh, group meetups in different yeah. cities, you yeah. know, if there's like a big, um, enclave of different beer mile mm-hmm. people that are training together, they can train beer together. So, um, mm-hmm. and maybe, maybe there's some coaches that are there or whatever, you know, you it can, can grow. And from there, I think what the cool part is, is with like a beer mile thing is that you center it around beer, which a lot of runners love beer. Community. So then you're centering around community, you're centering around, you know, different maybe breweries in your city. Um, and then, you know, you're running from those places, you're meeting people in your community that enjoy beer and enjoy running. And then you're starting groups in different, all different places. Um, and I think that's like really what we enjoy too, is the community based in running and also drinking beer. Um, it's just like good people. So I think that you could kind of start that in different places all around the country and, you know, start beer, beer mile crews all over the place. 
it is interesting, like the Venn diagram between runners and people who enjoy beer is just, yeah. just a <laughs> yeah, it definitely seems like that. There's a there's a few few people that would be outside the circle, but yeah, true true running purists. But uh, no, I mean you're definitely speaking our language. I think uh, the social part of running is what hooks so many people to start. Totally. And like, there's random beer miles that. I've gone to like in Chicago where just show up at 1 p.m. on this day on the track. And you got people who have like never run in their lives. They may yeah. run, like, they're like gym bros or just whatever. They're, they don't exercise at all. They show yep. up and do it and they like think it's awesome. And then they're right. friends with everyone that's there and then they get hooked into, mm-hmm. into it as well. So I mm-hmm. like this. This, yeah. is, this is a true empire building uh, yeah. experience. Let's take like, on the world. It's like franchised by city. I like yes, well, exactly. the, the running That's exactly club. it. Okay. We okay. could be your, you know, your Flagstaff crew, you know, the Beer Mario Flagstaff crew out here. So you, yeah, cool. you would have a you'd have a killer Flagstaff crew because beer and running culture yeah. is like like the same I'm, thing I'm in Flagstaff. Yeah. 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 Lots of good breweries out here. So it's yep. pretty awesome. What's like yeah. the uh the franchising costs? Like what do they have to pay us to franchise? <laughs> well, what, I mean, what have we built for them so far? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Good question. Great question. <laughs> it it no, would be cool. Turn you around. Yeah, wait. Where's our questions? I thought. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's think about this. Wait. So let's let's, uh, uh, let's let's dive into the compensation. So, how much are you paying us to join our team? Let's dive into that. Let's dive into that. Zero uh, percent. And how much are you paying us? One hundred percent. Right. So that's how it works. Oh, okay. So, Math wasn't my so. Uh, what would you say that you make uh, <laughs> per year before taxes? How much money do you make a year before taxes? We wrote down all these Step Brothers quotes. We're ready to pop them out now. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, fire, we're, fire away! Fire. <laughs> what are we claiming? Out of <laughs> hey, in in twenty, so that our business opened in. Well, our business. We started our LLC in September of 2020, and awesome. we we had a, a twelve thousand dollar loss on our taxes in 2020. So it's not bad. Pretty good year. That. We're on track mm-hmm. to do worse in 2021. <laughs> Hell <laughs> or yeah! Or better, depending on how you look at it. Uh, hey, time to start a business but, in, during the pandemic. Yeah. Hey, you know what? We're in, we're investing investing in the future. But uh, you're betting yeah. on yourself, which I appreciate. We, we are betting on ourselves. <laughs> And it, it's it's a nice way to bet on ourselves actually because it's not like it's life or death because we actually we do have like real full time jobs so we can yeah for now until we find well until I was gonna say until I have to until win. we bring you to the top you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> zero percent though good. Just remember that <laughs> details details zero <laughs> You at least give us like point one or something all right, right. Point all right. zero yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean if this is, if this is uh, if this is a trillion dollar company, then I'll take the point zero one. You know, it's, yeah, oh, exactly. You're right. You're I think right. we can do that. Yeah, we'll just yeah. work for beer and like it's written on our mirrors <laughs> already. So yeah, we've already been Probably visualizing on our mirrors. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Like the idea of if it, it's every city, it's like who wants to own this city, and then it's just mm-hmm. like I don't know mm-hmm. a whole model of uh your your beer sponsor. Like here's your yeah. kit to acquire a beer sponsor. Here's yeah. your yeah. whatever else. All your marketing. Mm-hmm. whatever that looks like y'all are so yeah. smarter than i am i feel so why well, these are just ideas we gotta actually no, they're good well, ideas so. <laughs> <laughs> when i when i talked to bailey on the phone earlier like she's like i have all like all these ideas and i'm like wow i'm fucking dumb <laughs> <laughs> well that's good so you don't need to have ideas you just why have am to, i talking myself out of a business you, yeah you, you're out we're in uh, <laughs> you, just, I, you, have to build, <laughs> you just have to build the website and, I'm just and whatever Bailey uh, tells you that she needs on the website, you just have to do it. That's uh-huh. it. Yeah. She's your boss. Welcome. Oh, <laughs> we took the interview. Welcome. We're the bosses now. <laughs> we, uh, that was the whole goal of this whole, whole thing. In order. Oh, we all need to do this. Oh. Really <laughs> <laughs> we should do like right. multiple. Uh, <laughs> multiple times. Oh. 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 You're not going to do that either. Oh. 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 In this climate? Wait, I'm vaccinated. So. Yeah, vaccinated club. Uh, you're only, aren't you only one half vaccinated though? Yeah, I got vaccinated today, so I'm uh, technically like. I yeah. was gonna ask. I was gonna ask how many microchips you had in you at this point. Mm, we just have say. one so yeah. far. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm half vaxxed. She's 
She's like 0.1% vaxxed right now. <laughs> I'm, uh, let's see. How's that uh, arm feeling? Eight, eight hours in. You feeling good about that arm? It yeah, hurts. The, the, <laughs> second one, the second one usually is the one that doesn't feel so good, right? I will say the first one really got me. I'm worried about the second one. <laughs> But I'm gonna get it. <laughs> Don't worry, everyone. <laughs> gonna be back. Be back. I saw this meme the other day that was like, uh, like the guy talking to the girl at the club meme, and she's like obviously not interested. And uh, <laughs> the text on it was like, "So are you like a Moderna or a Pfizer?" <laughs> 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 Yikes! <laughs> I like that. That's really cool. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> All right, yeah. let's. Uh, Let's turn the tables. We'll we'll give you a chance to interview us. I mean, you're not going to get hired anyway, but we've got to be nice and let you have a chance to ask us questions. So we'll just kind of. I think I'm going to (laughs) throw (laughs) up. Questions, questions. Do you have any questions, Jalen? What's your Uh, beer mile uh, time? Both of you. You should know this. Yeah, have you, I already have know you been it. to beermile.com? Uh, yes, I've been there. What? Uh, pardon me? What? <laughs> oh, my. What? That was fantastic. Uh, what? How did that, that happen? That was really good. <laughs> that actually was a lot better than a beer. There we go. <laughs> Are you sure you want to work for us? They're in shock. <laughs> I didn't no. Oh my god. What? Yikes. E- <laughs> Oops. I don't know. Welcome back. <laughs> wow, I'm uh, glad you guys figured that out. Thank God you guys figured that out. Huh? Yeah, sorry. So yeah, Chris we set it up poorly. It's all your fault, huh? <laughs> Had some issues. That's fine. GoPro dad, we're good. <laughs> We're having technical difficulties over there too. What's going All on? Over the place. All place. Yeah. It seems like a yeah. theme because uh, Sit and Kick like blanked out uh, this episode or this week's episode too. So I can't say I, I heard that one. Don't have don't have much time to listen to these other running pods that aren't up to our yeah. This is the only one I listen to. Now, oh, sure, I'm sure, sure, sure. I'm sure. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> yeah, so so this role is actually turned into an IT role because we're clearly all having technical difficulties. Uh, so yes. I think this is actually an IT role now. Oh, good. Mm. Uh, I have no IT skills. That's fine. Uh, so that's fine. My, well, my brother that. runs the utility uh, in Cedar Falls, Iowa. So we got one. That. We got a Houlihan. Houlihan on deck. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he'll, you know, contribute some fiber. papers. <laughs> So I, I believe you're going to ask us some questions. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Unless that's why you paused the camera for some extra time. Oh, oh. we were stalling. Oh, you got any questions? Uh, so what sort of uh, souvenirs do we get from this? <laughs> Please leave this office. We're done with this interview. Do we get any sort of souvenir? Get out of my office! Why, why is everyone in it for the goddamn merch? <laughs> <laughs> we are 100% in for the merch. So you got any merch for us? I mean, we obviously we do. We might we might have to uh, <laughs> bait it that thing with the track singlets. We do need to work on those. I mean, I'm going to flip the question then. Why, right. why isn't Why isn't Under Armour the sponsor of oh boy. the Beer Mile oh boy. Running Club? I love know? that question. What a great you know, question. We can uh, take it to the top. Yeah, yeah. We'll so take it right to the, we'll take it to the top. We'll take it to the top. Tippy tippy top. We'll take it to the tippy tippy <laughs> top. The tippity tippy 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 first so <laughs> I mean, no, yeah, like, right. like what does a guy have to do to get the the ambassador level you know mm-hmm. it, is the beer mile on the consideration as a sponsorable athlete one you know, of us type has of to thing. get a lot faster well yeah you know i don't know hey, what does it take to be don't, don't count yourself out don't talk about yourself like that you're gonna you're, beat sinclair yeah, you're gonna yeah, be a back okay. yeah oh boy what do they keep doing i that? don't fucking know what are they doing 
Oh, she's back. <laughs> Real big bummer. You guys are just colossally fucking up your interview. We apologize, guys, for the technical. So job. we got the job then. <laughs> <laughs> Do we got it? <laughs> we got it. I, I, I think, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think, uh, uh, do we need to relocate for this job? Oh God, no. Well, <laughs> we might have it, to. It may require a hundred percent travel to go to these different cities to start the running clubs. Um, or, or, or it'd be like the reverse. You have to, instead of you traveling, you have to host travelers yeah. when we come to flag. Oh, yes. Yeah. Like a team camp. <gasps> I'm in. Yeah. I love team camp. Do we, running camp. Oh, uh, run club. Beer mile run. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, here it is. Okay. Are you ready? First of all, one. I don't we, think she's okay. Oh God. I just got a brain blast. Um, Jimmy Neutron. And then, I, okay. I understood that. What? Thank you I very don't much. Know. Okay. Did you not watch Jimmy Neutron? No, I'm too old for that stuff. Uh, I forget sometimes that you're ancient. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, but no, we should do a beer mile run camp where we have it in Flagstaff, right? We rent out all these beautiful houses. We have one here and we could get a chef. We could get all the breweries in Flagstaff to sponsor different breweries to sponsor different days. Mm -hmm. And then you could take them to the Grand Canyon. You could run the Grand Canyon. You could oh run my gosh. Oh She's my a gosh. genius. Okay, <laughs> write that down. Beer Mile Run know. Camp. Yeah, beer right. Mile, write it down. It's right there. Uh, okay, good. Beer Mile Run Camp. Good, good. There it is. Ah, Guys, I'm just saying. sounds like a bachelor party. That, that's, that sounds, yeah, that does. That sounds, that sounds pretty aggressive. It sounds like it's just. Why gonna, get married when you can just do that? Yeah, true. It's going to turn into 100, 100 beers, 100 mile a week. Like, it's just going to be so aggressive. Yeah. Oh, you could have been pretty are. aggressive. People. You could have different badges. You could have different, like, awards for the oh, beer like, camp. You could have all these different oh, things. Right there on awards. Badges on the side, too. Yikes. Oh, yeah. Badges. You know, the different sites. If you went to the beer mile camp, Just, it could be like a summer awards. camp. We could have so many fun. Oh, Wait, summer camp. summer camp with, like, kids? Yeah, but no, like adults. no, with adults, adults. Though. summer camp. No, adult adult kids. Well, you are. Well, yeah, I think she's coming back to that uh, high school question. <laughs> <laughs> Over twenty one. <laughs> you were a camp counselor, though, right? Huh? Or was it Shayla? That was a camp counselor. Oh, I've been a camp counselor. One hundred percent for life. Uh, Have you been a camp counselor? I was a running camp counselor. Well, yeah, I guess so. In my time at Northern Iowa, I was probably one. That actually is a great idea. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah <thank you. laughs> We're ready to help you guys with that one. <laughs> I mean, so I, yeah, I guess you're, I guess you're hired. It's just, uh, oh. yeah. And when do you start, when do you start working? When are we getting this thing? Uh, so we actually, that's kind of a, an issue for us. We don't, we really don't actually work. work. <laughs> uh, is that going to be a problem? Is that, gonna be an issue with you guys? Is, that, is that like an Alexis mm. from Schitt's Creek type? Thing? <laughs> <laughs> we know, you we know David. all about right now. <laughs> you get murdered for once, David. <laughs> that's my favorite. <laughs> that's one of my favorite shows of all time. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> All so right. that's not going to um, be an issue then. Great. So we're, we're in. in. No, you yes. Really, you don't really qualify what we do as work. No. I think they're just shotgun beers on a Thursday evening. I think that was a truly. Oh, sorry, truly's. It seems week. like we just get drunk and lose like twelve thousand dollars a year. <laughs> <laughs> we we are we are master masters at writing off things on our taxes. That's nice. what we're not really good at. You know? Ah, there you go. Yeah. Cool. That's a skill. What you guys do here? It's a good skill. Yep. Yep. Her dad's an accountant, mm -hmm. so he knows how to do that as well. Yeah, he does. You guys that. want some help? Actually, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you want to clap? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we need to write. Right He's up. pretty awesome. Yeah, I we'll, think hey, Bob we'll, can yeah. really help you guys. I'll write that down. The Bob. The Bob. Perfect. Perfect. Oh yeah. We'll we'll pay him thousands of dollars. Another write off. Good to mm -hmm. go. He uh, likes to drink, so he would just fit right. just give him some fit, gifts. Fit in. The Rob, the Bob. Yeah, we're gonna need the Rob for the IT and the Bob for okay. the accountant help. Great. Okay, good. Perfect. Perfect. You just need to hire all the hula hands. I think. I think that's what we'd uh, have discovered. Bring them, bring them all I'm done in. for it. I mean, what what is what does Shelby do for is she? What is she gonna like? She could be like oh, e gaming. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. she could do live streams for us on YouTube and game. And well, she would do Twitch because well, Twitch. She could do Twitch. Right? Oh my gosh! Like, yes. Imagine the people she yes, could bring yes, in yes, off yes. of Twitch for the couch to beer mile. Oh. Oh, She'd actually be on. really down to do this because mm -hmm. her and I have talked about doing an adult summer camp together. So mm -hmm. okay, she'd be our big name. You know, we could really get all the peeps with that one. She's got mm -hmm. quite a following. Oh, I thought you guys were our big names. 
True. Yep. Hundred <laughs> percent. We have other big fish, you know. We can we can we have, we have, we have pretty cool <laughs> friends. <laughs> oh we my god, get, get Sinclair out there too. Oh yeah, yeah. Easy money, easy money. Well, I think so. Here's how we turn this thing profitable. Mm-hmm. We gotta we gotta sell some merch, and merch. Our, oh, merch, merch. our merch is kind of like you know it's fine, but. What we really need is that like nice Under Armour merch, you know, like, so if we're going to start a running club, we need like, the idea would be you sign up for this running club and you get a, you get an Under Armour singlet and shorts mailed. Maybe a Under Armour speed suit? One of these? Oh, you talking speed suits? What? (laughs) What? (laughs) Recovery speed suit. Oh, it's a recovery speed suit. So, you know, yeah, it's really nice. This is a it's for this is under armor. Oh my <laughs> We've had a few beers. <laughs> it's good for uh, a lot. One and a half. There you go. The tie does not come with the speed suit, but I think maybe oh. if we got everybody in the speed suits, we oh, could uh, beer mile beer mile ties. I'm fucking writing that down. Yes. Oh, they need to be clip yeah. on. Yeah, they clip need on to only. Be, in case you throw up, you can take that right off. I was just thinking, like that outfit is like totally beer mile appropriate. Like people yeah. will wear that to go to the track and do a beer mile. Like that is the oh, yes. type of Great. thing you would wear. Yeah. That's why we wore it. We understood. It's a business casual audience. to uh, race business casual. Business casual to beer mile casual. <laughs> <laughs> it's very versatile. Do you have any yeah. concerns about the job and or the benefits? There are mm-hmm. no benefits. By the no way. benefits. I guess that's a bit of a concern. The well, no benefits, benefits is clout on social media. That's the thing. Um, yeah, but I think they have more clout than we do. Oh, oh, you know, well, yeah, probably. probably. Okay, okay. So really, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So, do we have any concerns? <laughs> for the for the audio listeners, she is whispering. <laughs> sorry, the audio audio sorry, we're whispering. This is a podcast. Uh, <laughs> bad, bad podcasting. Bad podcasting. Really concerned with that. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. We have we have few concerns. Okay, oh, fire away. Just one, one concern, really. Uh, snacks. Are and they provided? Covered. Uh, only, they? Well, as long as you like PBR snacks. That's that's all you get. Ooh. Beavers. Okay, unlimited beavers, huh? unlimited <laughs> beaver snacks. Oh, I hate fucking mm. beavers, bro. <laughs> if I wanted liquid bread. Yeah. I'm with Adam, actually. I'm not really into the beaver snacks. I'm not uh, into I like PBR. Big fan. There. So one employee's happy. The others are not. You can't, you can't satisfy everyone. You can't make yeah, everybody happy. I did lie about the benefits. You can write off alcohol. Oh, that's like, what we were looking for. Mainly. I mean, that is, that is true. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's for the down. content. So. Business. No. Write, that, write that down. <laughs> write that down. Write that down. She's the, she's the one who keeps the best notes. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, no. Yeah, right now my paper too. Um, I, I mean, I don't really have very many concerns other than clout and snacks. Um, Looking for more clout and more snacks. Number one concerns. Yeah, number one concern. I really am into snacks. So if you guys can figure out a way to get us a snack sponsorship, I think if our group could figure that out, I think that would be good. Um, And then I thought you had had two right here. Oh no! It's actually snack sponsor. Snacks over here. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are the snacks, and we would need more snacks in order to provide these snacks with energy. Well, we can open up some more positions if, like, so, like, an, you know, a head of IT and a, you know, what, whatever else we can. I don't think the head of IT snacks. is generally going to be a snack based yeah, on the industry yeah. that I work. In. That can be a. That can Wait, be. Isn't that my brother? That's sick. Yeah, guys. we're hiring. <laughs> <laughs> we're hiring the raw. Uh, <laughs> so I mean, weird. The Hulahan family is so big. You're going to run into them every now and then. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. There are seven of them. <laughs> wow. My incest was brought up on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, that checks out. This checks out. Yeah, yeah. Checks out. Yeah. Oh my God. Do you have any more questions for us though? You know, I mean, as your future hopeful, um, I think we already got offered the job. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, you got to, well, there might, there's one, we, there's one caveat. We don't have a lot of money as we've said. And so, <laughs> If you're intending to start a family, I don't think we can cover maternity leave. Mm. Oh, yikes. Yeah. 
So as a, pre- as a prerequisite, <laughs> really, you're gonna you're gonna bring that up in this, uh, in this day and climate? age. <laughs> as, as a prereq, as a prereq, Chris and I googled worst interview questions. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! That's oh my so god! That is funny. <laughs> First of all, not planning on having kids yet. Ever. But uh, possible, uh, never, yeah. possible, never. <laughs> if we are going to have kids, probably going to just adopt uh, together. Together. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. Um, it's, you know, oh, and so there we I go. think it's going to be a, a little bit later. So don't worry about that. Okay. Plus, we'll have such an empire at that time that we'll be able to hire. Oh, and yeah. they can get all the snacks and beer that they want. Yeah. yeah, like we're just beer, snacks. Those kids can have at it, and then mm. we'll have a great nanny. <laughs> we'll probably hire professional runners. As probably just Bubs. Oh, Bubs will probably Bubs raise the cat. Our we got a really great cat over here, but he's made himself scarce because he was afraid of the ring light. <laughs> 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 but yeah, no, no, not a problem. Not a problem. Just we're know that when we hire you back after we build the empire, there will be no paternity. <laughs> Just want to let you guys know that. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. 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 Well, it's a good thing that my mom doesn't watch this because I'm not fucking having kids. But liar. He claims he's not having kids. He doesn't know that. Snips. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Yeah, we're tying tubes over here as well, so don't worry. (laughs) So we we have a board meeting uh, tomorrow for the company. It's just the two of us, but. Uh, so I have down just a recap. I have down. So 2021 projections. Okay. Uh, so we're going to make six figures just in the Under Armour speed suit. Um, okay. The summer camp is going to bring in a quarter mil. Uh, at least. At least. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, so the Me. Budweiser sponsorship. Uh, and, and yeah, that, I think that one's, that one set at a million, give or take. Mm-hmm. And probably tips just, tips on our podcast that i mean that's probably good for half a million that's so probably like the most money that we've made <laughs> that, that, yeah. Is, that yeah. is yeah so i think there after are venmo all, names out there yeah yeah i think we'll be able to afford some some pbr snacks or may, well maybe we'll even get some like i don't know those little like to go peanut butter trays or whatever oh. you know we could probably do some I like that. I like them. yeah I like some that. or something i have a final you guys are basically like our advisors now Yes. Yeah, this is the board meeting. This yeah, is I just, uh, welcome to the board meeting, guys. <laughs> okay, first, uh, first agenda. First order of business. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> so that, uh, we've been requested to start an OnlyFans. So oh, like charge for that. Yeah, how does the pricing model work for this OnlyFans thing? It's like it's a monthly subscription. It's kind of like Anchor. Is there like a number of times you have to go on? In order to earn that, or people pledge it, and then they can always undo the pledge. Listeners, if you have an OnlyFans, let us know. Maybe <laughs> I'm sure all. No, of let us know. Have <laughs> no, I'm interested. Like, if there's a podcast out there about the economics of hmm. starting an OnlyFans. Ooh, I got some friends we can talk to. Oh, do you? <laughs> Is that where you're gonna sell my feet pics? <laughs> That's what I was thinking about doing. Yeah, they're actually been Wait, you guys have a been lot right now. Feet picks? No, not us. Oh, but I have been selling them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's purely business transactional. No business transactions. He's got a yeah. wife. He's got a girlfriend. I know that. There's lines <laughs> there, but you know, like, yeah, yeah. But I've already started one for us, so don't worry about it. But yeah, uh, that or yeah, you guys could start a Patreon too. Have you heard about those? Do we have to strip for it or is that just like they give us money? Um, no, yeah, actually forget the Patreon. Let's go OnlyFans because that would be way better. I, yeah, Patreon, <laughs> Patreon's easier because we don't have to cut anything like, or not Patreon, sorry. OnlyFans yeah. is easier because we don't have to cut. Like Patreon's hard because you have to, so I have to like make a whatever, a podcast version and then I have to make another version that's extended and then like it's more editing work. I'd rather just have the OnlyFans put up the camera on a tripod and just see what happens. Yeah. Yep. That's what I respect I'm that. Yeah, I respect. Okay, that. I respect that. Yeah. Well, we'll need to really dive she, into that a little bit. She wrote a lot of notes, and we're just only fans Man. really big. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> nope. <laughs> only it's my. I, I'm super ADHD, so it could be partially. Well, 
Welcome. <laughs> we got to really look into this. I'm going to put a bubble around yeah, it. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, think about it. The, the beer bubble. mile only fans. That would be really good. I think. <laughs> so, so knowing, so, okay, you're ADHD. We are ADHD. I mean, we're, I think, so this is like, that's like a common runner thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like, yeah. So, so I think we know our target market now. So we're looking for beer loving runners that are also ADHD. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, what else are we what else are we targeting for here? <laughs> anxious people. I feel like anxious. runners yeah. are anxious. We need people with anxiety. My also depression. Depression. Yeah. Because yeah. that get them in a group, get them drinking. Oh, not drinking. No, don't get them drinking. Hold on. That helps. What? It helps. <laughs> it helps. It helps. And, and also, right up. The, one other, the one other filter is uh Did you say that's a write-off <laughs> it is though <laughs> it's a write-off <laughs> so the one the one other filter would be that they have to have have a job so they can pay us basically yeah like you know look look for well actually they wouldn't they wouldn't i don't know high school high school kid could have parents pay us for coaching so yeah this is where we really just need like a, a baby daddy, like with money, you know. Daddy, a sugar a baby, daddy. Yeah, not wait, a baby daddy. <laughs> a baby. Daddy. I, I just <laughs> said that the other day. I said baby daddy. Instead I said of sugar daddy. Baby I daddy. If you don't have paternity leave, there's no baby daddies in here. But in my defense, you know, though, you still get child support. So not enough. Not enough. Yeah, that's that. that, that yeah, embrace no. embrace no. debate. Embrace <laughs> debate. <laughs> no. Oh, no, no, no. Sugar daddy. Sugar daddies. Yeah. All right, well, that, I think I the Beer Mile cool. podcast needs a sugar daddy. Mm. If you are a sugar daddy and out there, or mama, don't or mama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, don't just me. That would, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you guys need a sugar mama. <laughs> Possibly, I think maybe sugar mama might be more your demographic. If you're going to start an OnlyFans of just you two, you're going to want a sugar mama. I'm pretty sure you'll find that. I don't want to give anyone the wrong idea, so so I'm gonna pass on the OnlyFans myself. But I respect that. Aww. I respect that. Classic good old Iowa boy. Yeah, oh, what a uh, classic yeah. Iowa, <laughs> huh? The brand. Adam, Adam <laughs> so that that's Adam's con- contribution to the company. He's gonna do that <laughs> and selling my body. Yeah, and, he does, <laughs> and, he, on. and he does the website yeah. updates for whatever whatever you both like tell him to do for the from the coaching side so he's he's basically just reports to you whatever i mean true or true or false embrace debate does that just make me a professional slut then if i'm if i'm the website slut and i'm an OnlyFans slut (laughs) website slut yeah they're just like cracking their website yeah build me this build me that (laughs) (laughs) i'm sure that's how it'll look yeah yeah (laughs) I think that's about right. <laughs> <laughs> Who's to say? I think I think it would be helpful, especially if we do this summer camp thing, or well, camp any time of year, the adult camp. Like yeah. to, for you to watch Adam closely because he gets distracted when he's working, you know, like he's building the website, he gets distracted. Like you really need to like coach him to focus and actually get things done. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. so yeah, yeah. we we kind of got to like keep him in time out and like, hey, focus. Like, well, you just build, need to, like the, build the website. Like, keep me away from substances, probably. <laughs> it's not helping that you just shotgun to truly. I don't know if you're getting much work done. Oh, alcohol makes me focus for sure. Oh, sure. Yeah. So is every same, same. ADHD person ever. <laughs> alcohol makes me focus. Other things do not. Like work. Work doesn't help you focus. Well, I'm, I'm just like trying to skirt around, you know, like this is a PG-13 podcast. You can't talk about things that aren't legal in all 50 states. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, it's basically illegal. Are we talking the gun here? <laughs> <laughs> I got a few. <laughs> we're, we're talking the Bob. about it. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're talking the Bob Marley in here. Wait, wait, is there a, wait, is there a drug test? For oh, my, yes. For my interview is there a drug yeah. test? So we're going to send you the, uh, the at-home urine kit to make sure that you are negative for THC before you, before you join. So how, how many days? <laughs> I mean, it'll take us a couple weeks to ship it out. So, you know, a couple you, weeks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it'll take a little bit of time. <laughs> I love that. Great, 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 great. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. great. Cool, 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 c
first. I think we accomplished a lot. We we went over our our big revenue projection. Well, they're not projections. They're basically locked in. Yeah, yeah they're, they're already locked in. in. Yeah. They're locked in. We have an accountant. Yeah, we went over that. We're so we're meeting with the CEO of Under Armour next week. We're gonna lock in that deal. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, summer camp locked in. Locked um, in. Yeah, the uh, Hulan family locked in. Locked in. Trusted advisors. Oh. Yep. What else? Yep. Adam's going to have the website done tonight. Yeah, uh, Adam. All the coaching intake yes. forms and all the plans. Man, this was really productive. I think yeah. we I, we crushed it. We are, we're on our way to like seven-figure revenue this year. Dude, Easy. Imagine, Easy. Yes. imagine what yes. we could do if we had an assistant that didn't have ADHD. Oh, wouldn't that be great? <laughs> What's that <Molly>. like? <laughs> Look at Molly in. <laughs> hey, Molly. Uh, can, I don't know if Molly is the is the person we're looking for for that specific role. But. Well, you know what? We can find somebody. I don't know anybody that doesn't have ADHD at this point, though. Mm. True. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, guys. Mm. Not over here. <laughs> Well, anything, good. Else, anything else you need to know about this job or, or are we, yeah. How do we close out any words of like wisdom or. Shayla? Mm. <laughs> Off to you. Oh, great. I, uh, I'm a woman of few words. <laughs> God, I wish we could all end with a good shotgun. You know what I mean? That would be a great end to our board meeting, but uh, unfortunately we don't have any more beer over here. So we can't talk in anything. <sighs> well, guys, sorry about that. All good. You you always won. That's fine. Next board meeting, we'll we'll make it yeah, happen. We'll yeah, yeah. Next board meeting, I'll be yeah. sure. <laughs> oh, you didn't have another one. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> Unfortunately, ooh, I don't really. That one's a little. Here, I'll switch you. Yeah. Yeah. That one's my day, man. So what did you what did you move to now? What is this? Oh, so we have over here the historic brewery, um, oceanfront property. Arizona lager. Delish. What you got? Yeah. Historic brewery, uh, salt river, salt and lime, Arizona lager. Oh my goodness. One of my faves. Oh, no. Nice. Actually, it's very, it's very really delicious. Good. Well, I have to send you guys some. Yes. I yeah, did get a listener who is hell bent on sending us. Oh, he's like going to, he's going to send us something. So hype. Someone's sending us something that's to cool. review on the show. And I was like, hell yeah, that's, that's, oh, that's, cool. oh, that's great. Oh, I like that. Great. Yeah. Well, we have no other questions other than, um, fuck one, marry one, kill one. <laughs> Barbara Oprah. Walters, <laughs> Oprah, or your wife. Okay, here's a shot out of a cannon. Oprah, Barbara Walters, your wife. You gotta fuck one, marry one, kill one. Go. I think we're done here. Go. Um, well, you gotta marry the wife. Well, yeah, you marry the wife. Because you already, you already did it. All right, I respect that. Barbara um, Walters. <laughs> Barbara Walters. Okay. Now we're at the tough part of the conversation. Mm-hmm. Uh, hmm. <sighs> Probably we got them on their heels. You know what? Oprah did a great job in the mm-hmm. in the interview, right? Mm-hmm. The, the royal interview. So mm-hmm. I would go. I wouldn't kill her. So you got to fuck her. Dang. So, okay. <laughs> you, you actually had the same logic as me. I, I was going to say I think Oprah's done more for the world, so she has to stay alive. Okay. That's what I. That's yeah. exactly what I was going to say. Huh. So we're killing Barbara, Barbara Walters? Walters? I mean, you gotta kill somebody. Who would you kill? Are you gonna have us kill our our ladies? <laughs> no, no, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Respect, respect, respect. <laughs> you're right. You're right. You're right. Good choice. Okay, you guys passed. Okay, we, we didn't have one of those extreme questions like that. I don't know. Uh, we're <laughs> talking about maternity leave, so yes. well, that's true. <laughs> PG thirteen podcast, right? <laughs> oh, actually, okay. I do. I do have a question. I'm curious. Okay. okay. Instagram crush. This is kind of a steal from uh, David Melly's podcast, ooh, ooh, uh, Run Your Mouth. Up. But basically, it's just like, who who are you? It doesn't have to be like literally a crush, crush. But like, what are you vibing with on Instagram? Mm. I think it'd be a crush. It's like, oh, like, I got to go look at that person's pictures because I'm crushing on them a little bit. Good question. Good question. Good question. Um, hmm. I've got a lot of TikTok crushes right now that are going on. Yeah, a lot of tickety talk talk crushes. Speaking um, of being over 21, hopefully they are. I ain't probably not. Because <laughs> there's a lot of cuties. There's a lot of young cuties dancing, and I'm interested. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I swear to God, every now and then TikTok forgets who I am, and they're like, hey, do you like want to vote for Trump. Also, here are these underage <laughs> boys and girls. I'm like, no, yeah. no, no, no. Like, 
Yeah. I'm liking those. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm girl, what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> mine's like mine's like a lot of self-help, which I respect and like, and then uh, a lot of young boys dancing. I'm like, well, this seems about right. Mine's a lot of cats. A lot of cat <laughs> names. There we go. Respect. There that. we go. Yeah, uh, lots of cat things. She sends me only cat things. <laughs> Our DMs are just, she just sends me only cats, which I like. Or really ridiculous people. Um, so we recently have purchased matching skates. Oh, rollerblades. We no, like skates. Oh, skates. They're not rollerblades. Skates. Um, I don't know the lingo yet. Quads. Oh, yeah. They yeah. light up. They light up at night, which is very fun. So we've been skating around the house. And yeah. now we have these sweet speed suits to really so get the out. We're probably going to be putting something out there pretty soon. And yeah. how does Molly enjoy the skating at night? I don't think she's seen it. She yet. hasn't seen it yet. Okay. <laughs> because we're choreographing a dance. No. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> she's listening. She says she can't wait. <laughs> we're probably gonna get her into it. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, she's uh, probably gonna be our uh, you know, film filmer. I will say that she doesn't do well with wheels. She doesn't do well with wheels. <laughs> Uh, okay, but we're back to the question. We got yeah. a little off track. Oh, yeah. No, so uh, a lot of my feed has been people on skate doing dances and whatnot, mm -hmm. too. So those are like my two things. Oh, two sorry. bugaboos. Cats yeah. and skates. Okay, okay. My, well, my main Instagram crush would be Nikki Hills. I think that if you follow anything that she does, she's number one for me. Anything she's doing, I'm right there liking it. And I'm right there commenting. I don't want to be the first comment. So, you know, get my, get my hands in that one. It's good. Yeah. You're just cats. <laughs> I'm cats. And I, I also am like the people that I love, I love on them really hard. So I'm like official hype woman for like mm -hmm. anyone that I'm super into and following. So like any, any of my women on our team mm -hmm. and like mm -hmm. a bunch of like the Bowerman girls, cause I've gotten close to them through Shelby and yeah. stuff like yeah. that. So I, I feel like I'm like the official hype woman. And I'm like, I just want to love on them so hard. So, cause they're just such cool people. Yeah. There we go. If you if you yeah. need some uh, videographers for a roller skate in the dark music video, whatever it is with the light up, I mean, we we could make something artsy out of that for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, we're gonna yeah. need it. Yeah, yeah. So we need yeah. some help. We're gonna need it. We just have a ring light at this point. We're trying to invest in some better video uh, to really get capture. Yeah, I, sense of I what's really going on here. been wanting a, a drone. So yeah. yeah, that that is an that is an investment. Can't pull the trigger. It's a fun one. It's a fun one. Yeah. <laughs> hey, well, uh, Kansas City's close to Arizona. No, it's not. Kinda. Not really. Closer. Yeah, kinda. Country. Come on. <laughs> eh, ish. Ish. Wait. What? Yeah. What's What's the next meet? Or where Where would we see you at a meet in the future? So we can do a music video, obviously. Yeah, yeah. So I can get those roller skates out. Yeah. Um, I think I might be racing March 21st, possibly. Yeah. Might be mm -hmm. kind of doing a 3K kind of a thing. Her first 3K My ever. first 3K, which would be fun. <laughs> um, and then That's two good. weeks, a uh, steeple chase at GCU and like two weeks later, mm -hmm. April 9th or something like yeah. that. So that'll be fun. That'll be my first steeple, which will be exciting. Um, and then after that, there's some stuff opening up in LA. Yeah, there's we're like, looking at like... Um, wanted to do her first steeple in kind of a low-key setting and then um, get that experience under her belt. And then from there, it'll probably be either another three-week cycle to the next steeple or maybe a 1500 in there. I haven't really like solidified that yet, but um, just making sure she can get her feet wet. And then uh, come May, there'll be some big races. So mm -hmm. if she hasn't qualified yet. She'll get her qualifier there. I'm sure, I'm sure you will get your feet wet. I'm you know, yeah, I'm hoping you don't. Oh my gosh, the no, I, 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 <laughs> I yeah, thought well, she did that on purpose. I was like, very clever, go girl. <laughs> oh my god, what an accident! You walked right into that one. Good job. I walked myself right into that. Holy crap, you jumped right in. Huh? Both feet, oh, hopefully not. <laughs> hopefully, not. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, one foot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what, what are the odds that it's also like face getting wet on the first time? I don't know. No, no, it might, be, no. It might happen. No, but you know what. I am good at falling and getting up. You know, you're that. not going to, I hit that. everything and I'm you're not quick allowed to bounce up. I'm uh -huh. quick. If I fall, I'm going to get right back. My up. athletes don't. They're very good at the water jump. I might fall, <laughs> but she won't. <laughs> if I do, I, uh, I can get back up quick. I pop right back up. I guess now that we're on this tangent, uh, like you're trying a new event, like going into the Olympic trials. Uh, yeah. Why not? 
shake things up. <laughs> is it, have you done, have you just done enough hurdling in practice that it's like, oh, she, like your form yeah. looks good enough. And he is a phenomenal hurdler. Like okay. uh, just naturally, like it's so <laughs> funny to me. Cause like, I, guess, <laughs> I feel like I uh, have inherited all of these uh, steeplechasers that are just like so naturally gifted. They just make me look like such a good coach i'm like oh yeah i'm so good <laughs> but in, the, in reality they've like hurdled in high school or like have all this experience in hur- hurdling previous to me and i just kind of fine-tune some stuff and teach them how to do the water jump and then so yeah i she's, think my biggest hurdle pun intended <laughs> is the endurance piece <laughs> uh i've come from like an 800 meter background mm-hmm. mainly in college because that's like where i needed to be um so like going and like doing a lot of work within like the 1500 realm and then like kind of like transitioning to this like Mm -hmm. endurance and then living at altitude and putting a lot more mileage on. I feel like I'm like ready to take that step and like the races and like a couple of injuries and stuff have kind of like not shown on like Mm -hmm. paper necessarily. I'm ready for that, but I feel very ready to like take that step. Mm -hmm. Um, Also my dad was a collegiate hurdler. So it's always been kind of like in the back of my mind that this might be something that I could be talented at. Um, It's mind blowing that no one ever taught her the steeple before me. (laughs) I'm like, what? Yeah, She's like this little like hidden gem that just needs to be buffed out. Just need a little polishing. Just a little bit. Like, so are you close with your dad or do you have daddy issues? Oh, no daddy issues over here. Very, very, it's all good. No, 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 it's fine. Otherwise, I I would have an only fans if that was the case. (laughs) 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 Which I don't. um, But yeah, no, uh, my dad's a a high school coach. um, And so he's always been like my biggest fan and biggest Mm -hmm. supporter. And he's, he's awesome. So um, he's always said the same thing too. Yeah. That she should be a steeplechaser. Yeah. Like since I was like Mm -hmm. young, he's always like, I think the steeplechase might be your event. And then it just kind of worked out that you know the 800 was where the hole was within the team and mm-hmm. that's like kind of where I went um but he's been so excited like I think like any like hurdling I like send him a video and he's like critiquing it like he's like, he's like you need to get your toe up like so he's he's ready for it and uh he's been really really excited about this step and uh yeah no daddy issues just all daddy support <laughs> It's been great. No mommy issues either. We got a great mom over here too. We got good. Both of them are great. <laughs> Gotta love uh, the the bittersweet moment when your parents are right. And you're like, Fuck. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah. That's like my whole life. I feel like totally. I've been rebelling against them for about 28 years, and now I'm like, Fuck. I just like, give in now. Got it right. <laughs> 36. You figure out. Oh yeah, they're they're somewhat right. They're on. The, they're always right. It's on the spectrum there. <laughs> okay. Final question: How do four ADHD people end the podcast? <laughs> a moment of silence <laughs> we, can't, we can't be silent that doesn't yeah. our DNA. Namaste. Oh, we all we all meditate for five minutes oh, <laughs> i don't think five it's possible minutes? yeah you said about 30 seconds in you yeah so say are you gonna are you gonna guide our listeners through a five minute like Whoa. soothing voice exercise like well, I, I guess don't think I have uh, a soothing voice. Although that sounds like so much pressure. <laughs> like, oh, wait, we cracking another one over there? <laughs> oh, oh, you know, oh, anything? Well, hmm? after the board meeting, I mean, well, not, yeah, a yeah. celebratory. Gotta decompress. Maybe we, we need to like a cheers, like a good like oh, you a know, cheers, like a yeah, board meeting cheers. This is what we need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody together. Cheers. There we go. <laughs> That's a great board meeting. Mm. Mm. Very successful. I'm proud of you guys you did it you really stepped up to the plate today yeah, yeah. Here's our we lost 100 percent of the company but we have great people on board now so yeah we, we are we, we are might hire you guys back it, <laughs> we'll see we, we'll great. see <laughs> i'm always down to interview again that's yeah next time we, can, we can interview you next time we can flip oh, the switch if you'd like that really nice. oh Good. papa john's Good. calling <laughs> my dad's oh. calling guys dad's I, calling i was like papa that's john's good. like actually yeah, yeah. the pizza he knows, he knows we need up. pizza he's gonna he wants to talk some hurdling <laughs> <Probably does. laughs> awesome. i have no idea how to end the podcast guys this is like, this is like my second podcast um, i'm getting anxiety just thinking about ending it so <laughs> I'm literally just like sweat right yeah now. this this is usually how it goes and then we're just like Okay, we're we're cutting it, and then we like still keep talking to the person, <laughs> but, should, we, but we still cut it. <laughs> you should see us film the intro and the outro. That's <laughs> yeah, is, is it bad? Is it good? What's what? So, what is 
Sometimes well, we, it takes us better. like a couple hours to record like five minutes because oh my we, God. we get distracted and or we say stupid things that we have to cut. I mean, who knows? Who knows what it is? But every time we have like an Under Armour like brief that we're supposed to do, it takes me so many times to get like one thing. I'm like, that sounds all right. Like it, I literally lost all my oh, iCloud storage on my stressful. last time. I was like, it's stressful. Oh my God. It's so stressful. I can't. I get it wrong. I can't tell if we've like gotten better at doing interviews or if I've just like stopped giving a fuck because I'm like, "Mm, it's going to take a thousand takes and I'm going to just like need to not care. I think you get better at it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ties are off. So that means the interview is over, I suppose. (laughs) It's over. The work day is over. Now it's, we're going to the bar for happy hour, basically. Yeah. Take the ties off, loosen them up. And snap. We're gonna get some snacks. Some snacks. Some snacks. We're gonna get some snacks. That's going. In, that's going into the intro reel. <laughs> sure, that's a good intro. Reel. All right. Well, the anxiety in me is gonna say, "Thank you for interviewing. We're very glad Please. to send you offers your way." But um, yeah, I think we'll, we'll out there. Great conversation. Thank you guys for joining us. Well, thanks well, for having we'll be, me. We have to go through our 200 applicants first. So we, we may send. Yeah, yeah. 235. 235 and 236. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I nice. love that you Fuck can remember that. And then we're like, okay, what was the first question of this sentence? Like, Because that's how my brain works too. Well, Perfect. we really appreciate the opportunity. And we yeah. really look forward to your response in regards to. We're really looking forward to uh, working for this company and the people that are going to be below us like yourselves. <laughs> And, we'd uh, love to, yeah, we'd love to circle back and touch base on that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Can't, can't wait, wait to circle to back like, and touch bases. Yeah. <laughs> That's, all the bases. Save, save the, I'll touch them all. Touching bases for only. She likes touching things. <laughs> I love touching bases. I love them. You know, <laughs> if you made it this far, you know that we fucking hired our two homies. I don't know, right? I don't. Did we? I think so. If you made it this far, I think you should comment below, do they deserve the job or not? I I would one up that. I would say, how much would you pay them? Cause like, we don't know. Ooh, that's a good question. Yeah. What what are coaching services worth? You know, how much would how much would you be willing to pay one of them to coach you? Yeah. And then how much should we take as a cut from that? <laughs> we're just like crowdsourcing the entire business model. Just crowd, we're trying to crowdsource. I, I mean, mean we were we were trying to crowdsource training at one point, but then nobody nobody told us anything. To, to be fair, one person did. One person did. Okay. So I mean, I guess I'm back with my my coach now, so I can't really do that anymore. I was open to doing that, but since no one commented, I guess I'm back just, you know, paying someone to coach me. But And now I'm allegedly just like the bitch of the beer mile, like you are. Chris, Chris is whipping me. Bailey's whipping me. Everybody's whipping at him. Everybody. Yeah. So we're, we're trying to hire in, you know, a CEO and COO above us because I don't think Chief Chug Officer and Chief Chunder Officer really are cutting the mustard on. Uh, yeah, we're kind of too die. We're too down for the business. Roles. Yeah. Okay. Yikes. Let us know what you think. I mean, I don't know. We'll we'll have to we'll have to sleep on it to decide if if they deserve the jobs or not. I'd say. Yeah, I think so. They got to prove themselves. But we're we're back with a beer review, really quick here. We haven't had a beer review for a couple episodes because we've been busy, you know, talking to people and we've doing been, other things. We've been doing most of our beer reviews before the podcast and not filming them just because we delete them all. Uh, but this one. Coming at you from Bent River Brewing Company. This is the Undercurrent IPA. Uh, Rock Island, Illinois. Our native state. Well, not my native state, but current state that we're living. Yeah. Rock Island, Illinois. Shout out to the Quad Cities. Big fan. Uh, 6.8% ABV. Not free. We often really? talk about whether ABV is free or well, not. I, I, I would say it. not, oh, not I free. <laughs> What do you think? For, uh, it's 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 at a discount. It's a fire sale. It's not free. It's not free, but it's pretty close. I mean, we talk about like, 
I don't. Even, I can't even think of one off the top of my head right now. Uh, like uh, Antihero. The oh, you're saying other IPAs? Yeah. Antihero is a, a free. That's free ABV for me. Fair. I was thinking more of like the the, the triples and the Belgian, like the oh, you know, like yeah. Delirium Tremens. Free. Delirium Tremon, Tremens. That's that's free ABV. Um, Algash White, free ABV. Yeah. All right, let's rapid fire around on these on these scores here. All right, what do what do we want to start with? Let's start with. Well, let's let's go taste taste first since we had first sips. Taste compared to other IPAs to start okay. it off. Okay. Three, two, one. I'll go six. Six. I said five. Okay, so it's it's just middle of the line. Definitely. I mean middle of the line. Okay, compared to all other beers. Three, two, one. Okay, Adam's a five. I'm a two. So you know, I, I not like really IPAs. Feeling it. That's usually like if I actually want to taste my beer instead of just like deleting it, then I'll have an IPA. So I like. For me, a five compared to a six, not a whole lot of dropage there. Got it. Drinkability. Well, you didn't give your, oh, you, I mean, you gave it, it's a two. I mean, I just, IPAs, yeah, you know, I'll take most hmm. other beers over IPAs. I guess because you didn't say it's free. It's I definitely mean, not free. That makes sense. It's okay. definitely not free. Drinkability compared to other IPAs. Okay. Three, two, one. I said a five, you said a seven. Yeah. Yeah. So the reason I'm going with seven, I almost did eight because this IBA like does not, IBA. Just hold that up for the camera. This IPA does not have, to me, it doesn't really have like a kick to it. So I feel like I could drink a bottle of it and probably still want some more, but it's an IPA. So like, obviously, you know, not gonna drink more than two probably. Yeah. I said middle of the line because it tastes like any other IPA that I've ever yeah, had in my life. Kind of like, I, I, yeah, <laughs> it, it is like the, it is really like middle of the line IPA. That's for sure. All right. Uh, I mean, drinkability compared to other beers, we even need to do this. I guess we do. Three, right. two, one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, very low. Yeah, yeah. I'd have two. That's probably it. Yeah, I'm a one and done. One and done on the IPA kind of guy, but X, and is there any X factor here? I like the, um, that's always our, that's always our X factor. I, I, like I like the cover, the like colors. The graphic designer did good work. I like the painting, the painting is so pretty. <laughs> Rock um, Island, shout out. Uh, that's about all I got on the yeah. X factor. I don't yeah, really got any X factor here. Yeah, I mean, my X factor is, uh, you know, according to the Surgeon General, women should not drink alcoholic beverages uh, during pregnancy. I think they should add that most men shouldn't drink alcoholic beverages because then they just get stupid. But <laughs> <laughs> I mean, according to our conversation today, that might be better for running is just like become stupid, run That's faster. That's true. Don't know your limits. You just go for it. Well, there's, there's your beer of the week, y'all. The undercurrent IPA, uh, it's an average ass IPA. Conclusion. <laughs> I mean, you know, no, no offense, Ben River. Like, it, it's fine. We do but have some more of your shit in there, so we'll, we'll be trying. We'll that. try the other ones next time and see how that goes. If you want to send us some beer, any listeners, we I think we have one listener that might be sending us some. Appreciate that. We'll super, definitely take super it. Super hype for that. Uh, you know, pimp slap the subscribe. Hit. Hit the hit the like. We're really like poke it, the like. We're really like accelerating the violence that's done to the subscribe button. That poor subscribe button just getting used and abused. That poor thing, man. If you are thinking about expanding your business, stop being a fucking misogynist and paying women seventy cents on the dollar per hour, and just hire women that allegedly are just like taking over your positions as leadership within the company. We are very progressive. We are, we're saying, hey, we don't deserve to be leaders of this company. We're hiring our bosses above us. So very progressive. Willing to become the subordinate inferiors and get dominated, basically. I thought that's where you're going with that. <laughs> <laughs> Is that allowed or no? Is that probably too much? Hey, and if your mom has extra time, make sure you show her this podcast. She might like it. She might also divorce your dad, which... You know, we talked about needing a sugar mommy. 
not a baby mama, sugar mommy. And, and we need that. We're hiring, we're expanding. We got to fund this somehow because otherwise it's coming out of our paychecks. We got our coaches and running club figured out now. So next hire is a sugar mama that has money to spend. <laughs> How does he make that noise? I don't know. Just like choked on a lot of dicks. <laughs> okay. There it is. There it is, ladies and gentlemen.